Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Hey, it's Mark back again. How you guys doing? I got a pretty cool tip for you guys today. I just uh, figured this out not too long ago, and I thought this would be pretty cool to share with you guys. Now, this guy in this uh, video clip right here is not, you know, doesn't look that great. It's okay. It looks a little bit dull. Meh. But I got a way to bring out the, the, the detail in this guy without affecting the rest of the clip. Now, some of you guys are like, yeah, yeah, just make a mask around and then, you know, you can animate the mask. Nah, that's, that's too much work. <laughs> right here at the May Nation, we try to find easy solutions. So what we want to do is, I'm going to do color correction curves on our footage. Now, I'm going to try to bring out the sky. Ooh, nice. I mean, that's cool. Maybe right there is good. Looks good, right? No, it doesn't because of the rest of the footage. What to do, what to do. Well, easy solution. Go to effects and presets and hit matte. Okay. And you're going to get set matte. Before you do anything, you want to duplicate your footage. So you have two copies. Now you want to take your set matte and drop it on the top layer. Boom. Now, we want to tell the After Effects to use this layer for the sky and the bottom layer for everything else. So we're going to go up here and hit Lightness. So go to Use for Matte Lightness. Now, click on your bottom footage, the footage that's underneath the top, and go up to your curves and hit Reset. And when you do, watch the sky. Boom. The sky does not change. It stays exactly the way we set it. Now we can actually use this to do a little bit of correction down here to make sure it looks decent. Okay, get that to where we want it. And then if we want to do further color correction, you simply uh, choose both of these. Uh, press one, hold down shift, press the other. Go up to layer, pre-compose, pre and we'll call this uh, footage. Okay, make sure you move all attributes. Hit OK. And now we can uh, color correct the layer, right? Curves or whatever. And do pretty much whatever we want, and it's going to be all good. And the sky's gonna be cool, and we're gonna, you know, we can do some cool things and really make the thing pop and look really good. And that, after all, is what we're trying to do: is make it look really good. So you can do uh, a bunch of different things with this technique, and I just thought it was really cool um, when I when I when I saw this technique that I thought I would share it with you guys. It's it's a really cool technique. I'm glad I found it. I'll be using it a lot because let's face it, who doesn't want to uh, put a little more detail in the sky? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's it. It was pretty quick, but again, very helpful, very useful. And um, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.